The Shabbat before Pesach has a special name, Shabbat HaGadol, the Great Shabbat. The question is, what makes it a Great Shabbat? What is so special about it? Why is it any more important than the Shabbat before Yom Kippur, which is called Shabbat Shuvah, the Shabbat of Repentance? It's not called the Great Shabbat. Or the Shabbat before Purim, which is Shabbat Zachor, the Shabbat of Remembrance. Why is it that only the Shabbat before Pesach is called Shabbat HaGadol, the Great Shabbat? And many different explanations have been given for the meaning of this name. One, and perhaps the most simple explanation, comes from the Haftarah. On this Shabbat, we read a special selection from the prophets, from the prophet Malachi. And he tells us in the penultimate verse that before the great and awesome day of God, he will send us Eliyahu Hanavi, Elijah the prophet, to herald the coming of the Messiah. And of course, Pesach and Eliyahu Hanavi are connected to one another. The character, the figure of Eliyahu Hanavi looms large in the Pesach Seder when we open the door and we welcome in Eliyahu and we pray that next year we should have our Seder in Yerushalayim. So the reference is to that great and awesome day that will come and therefore the Shabbat is called Shabbat HaGadol after that verse in the Haftarah. Perhaps the most famous explanation is the one that's mentioned in the Code of Jewish Law that Shabbat HaGadol reminds us of a miracle that, happens in the, that happened in the times of the Exodus. What was the miracle? Moshe came to the Jewish people and told them to prepare the Korban Pesach, the Pesach sacrifice, to take a kid or to take a lamb several days before the 14th of Nisan. And then on the 14th of Nisan, the animal would be slaughtered, its blood would be placed upon the doorposts, and that evening, everybody would eat the very first Pesach Seder they would eat from the Pesach sacrifice. But of course, this was a provocation against the Egyptians. The Egyptians worshipped certain animals, including the lamb. And this was almost taking their God and destroying it. There could have been a terrible pogrom, but nothing happened whatsoever. This is the great miracle that Shabbat HaGadol recalls. Because in that year, it was on the 10th of Nisan that they started to prepare the Korban Pesach, and that day was a Shabbat. But there are other explanations that are given too. Gadol means great or long. And indeed, for many, it was a very, very long Shabbat. Why is that so? It's in a very balanced time of the year. In the Northern Hemisphere, it's in spring. Shabbat is not too long, it's not too short. Why was it considered to be such a long Shabbat? And the answer to this goes back to a custom that is millennia years old. And that was for the rabbi of the community to give a long drasha, a long talk on the Shabbat before Pesach, mostly to explain to the congregants how to, pre to prepare for Pesach. Pesach is a complicated festival. One has to kasha one's home. There's the making of the matzah, the preparation of the marod, all the preparations for the seder, the wine. It's very complicated. And therefore, the best and most opportune time to do it would be on the Shabbat before, where you have an audience, you have a crowd. And therefore, the rabbi would speak at length about the upcoming festival. And we have recorded many, many such drashot from great rabbis throughout the ages and the type of things that they spoke about before Pesach. And therefore, it was called Shabbat HaGadol, the long Shabbat, because indeed it felt very, very long to sit through such a long lecture. Some also related to the word Gadol, which means a great person. It was the Shabbat of the great person. It was the opportunity of the great person, the great scholar of the town, to teach the Torah, and in particular, that part of the Torah that was relevant to Pesach. But let's conclude with a final idea. The word Gadol also means an adult. An adult. When a child is born, we pray, Ze hakaton Gadol yiye, at a bris. This little child, Gadol, Yihye, should become an adult. At the moment, he's a katan. He's a minor. He's not obligated to do mitzvot. He's just a little child, or she's just a little child. But we pray that they should become a Gadol, an adult, an adult who is obligated to do mitzvot. And really what happened on Shabbat HaGadol is that the Jewish people came of age. We became adults, as it were. Up to that point, we were a family. We were a large family. We were the family of Jacob with his 70 descendants who came down to Egypt and became a mighty nation there, 600,000 males over the age of 20. 
and perhaps a total of about 3 million in the population, but we were still immature. There was a lot that we didn't know. We were basically pagans and idol worshippers. And God came, and on this particular occasion, He gave us the very first mitzvah. He told us about the mitzvah of Rosh Chodesh, the new moon. He told us about preparing for the Seder. Finally, we were given mitzvot. Well, what happens to a child when a child comes of age? We speak about a bar mitzvah or a bat mitzvah. You become obligated in mitzvot. Then you become a gadol, a major who is obligated. That's exactly what happened to the Jewish people on this Shabbat. They went from becoming a katan, a minor, to becoming a gadol, a major. And perhaps when we wish a child and we say, katan gadol yeh, this little child will become a gadol, we don't just mean that he should become a gadol in age, he should become a major, but that he should become a gadol, he should become great in stature. This is the time in our history that the Jewish people became great in stature. And therefore, at our Pesach Sedarim, we behave like royalty. We lean, we have the best food, we have drink, we have wine. We are gadol, we are great people. We came of age on the Shabbat, and that is why it is so significant. I hope that it's a very meaningful Shabbat Gadol for you, and I wish you all a Chag Pesach Kasher V'Samach.